Please sit down. Thank you. In a blistering speech one day after pro-Trump supporters stormed the U.S. Capitol in an unprecedented security breach, U.S. President-elect Joe Biden said the perpetrators should be considered domestic terrorists. Don't dare call them protesters. They were a riotous mob, insurrectionists, domestic terrorists. It's that basic, it's that simple. Biden called the chaotic day, quote, one of the darkest in the history of the United States and blamed President Donald Trump for the rampage at the Capitol when Biden's very own election victory was meant to be ceremoniously confirmed in Congress without incident. And I wish we could say we couldn't see it coming. But that isn't true. We could see it coming. The past four years, we've had a president who's made his contempt for our democracy, our Constitution, the rule of law clear in everything he has done. He unleashed an all-out assault on our institutions of our democracy from the outset. And yesterday was but the culmination of that unrelenting attack. In the wake of that attack, Biden said Merrick Garland, his pick to serve as the top U.S. law enforcement official, would restore faith in the rule of law and will not be Biden's attorney general, but the people's attorney general. Garland, who was blocked from his Supreme Court nomination by Senate Republicans in 2016, vowed to treat everyone equal under the law. The essence of the rule of law is that like cases are treated alike, that there not be one rule for Democrats and another for Republicans, one rule for friends, another for foes, one rule for the powerful, another for the powerless, one rule for the rich and another for the poor or different rules depending upon one's race or ethnicity. Biden said he expected Garland to receive a swift confirmation hearing in Congress. Biden will be sworn in as the 46th U.S. president on January 20th.